who do you feel deserve Loso, bro? Is it Deuce or is it Lord, bro? Who do so you I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. Do you think you're the greatest Florida battle rapper ever? I do, yeah. <laughs> I do, I do now, yeah, yeah. I mean, dude, dude why you look so surprised? Ever, yeah. bro, ever. That's that's a big statement, bro. That's I don't know why certain people aren't getting flown. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna I'm say this though: you can't blame politics forever. How many years you gonna keep blaming politics? You know what I'm saying? I did it, so I know for a fact anybody else can do it. If you nice, you're nice, bro. Excellence can't be denied that long. All right, so we're here live with Loso, ready to get his take on Craig versus Deuce, mm -hmm. and also his stance on uh, the King of Tampa. So, yeah. mm. let's get into it, man. Real quick, Craig versus Deuce, what do you think about this, my brother? What's your take on it? Yeah, man, I'm surprised that it hasn't happened already. Um, long time coming. I, you know, it's, I think it's one of those battles that is kind of like... Um, a staple for the city. A lot of people, they, I mean, no matter when it happened for the city, they, it was just going to be like a, a monumental thing. I do think that, you know, the purists though, like people who've been around, they kind of just like, man, you know, we wish that we would have had it both at their, whatever you would call their prime or whenever they was kind of like buzzing the most. But regardless, we got it now. Um, I just, you know, I hope as a fan that they both take it serious. I hope as a fan that they both just kind of just uh, go in there and, and and they really want to not necessarily even like, yo, I'm going to just do this for the city type of thing. But like they looking at that other person across from them like, yo, I don't want to hear our names in the conversation next to each other anymore. You know what I'm saying? I want to go ahead and beat you clearly. I want to beat you clearly. So, you know, I, I, I hope that that's the type of battle that we get because that's going to bring the best product at the end of the day. Um, and to the dungeon was, you know, it was the right, it was the right league to do it on. And so uh, mm. I'm excited for it, bro. Do you think, do, do you got a favorite? Who, who do you think wins this battle? Um, so I would say that I, this is just me just being unbiased. Like, I think just if I'm going over the course of like their careers and like their highs, Craig has the higher ceiling, like to like, if somebody's gonna go in there and do something that we've never seen before, either one, it would probably be Craig, right? He has the higher ceiling, um, and it's like the but 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 Deuce is just so consistent, and like you know what he's gonna go, you know what he's gonna do. I do think that uh, personally, I think it just feels like Deuce does the speed limit a lot, and so what I mean by that is like you know. He, he's on the highway with us and this is just me just being a, a brother and a friend of him but he's on the highway with us but i look to the left and i'm like all right he's following the rules you know what I'm saying he's going he's going 65 i never see him go like i, I want to see him go 90 you know what i'm saying and base and, and whatever that looks like that doesn't mean that he has to do something that somebody else doing us i'm just me personally i don't know like maybe it's just his demeanor um where it's kind of just real laid back and stuff but if he's in there um, and he's just kind of just, you know, getting in that bag where he's punching back to back crazy, he's addressing certain, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, certain room, not not rumors, but, but false narratives about himself or whatever. I, that's that's for me. I, I would coach him if I was if I was coaching him, if I was on his sideline, I would be like, yo, I think you need to go ahead and. And kind of just, you know, probably do a round, probably do half a round addressing like this whole Tampa thing and like why you the man and why Craig has, you know, this and the third and why, you know, uh, you know, Craig don't got no excuse. You know what I'm saying? You was locked up. This man, you know, he was locked up by his own, you know, failures. Like, you know, I would try to do like some mirror stuff or whatnot with that. Uh, just like at the top. But if he gets in that bag, you know, I definitely think Deuce is a safer bet on top of that. I say all of that to say Craig knows what it is, bro. It's just like. You know, he just doesn't, unfortunately, you know, you've always seen, like, the potential there, but it wasn't really, like, lived out all the way. And, and unfortunately, this is why, you know, um, he's he's where he's at because as far as battling career, and it's, not, it's no diss or not, it's just it's really the elephant in the room, but it's like everybody talks about it every battle, but it's just like, you know, but that's just Craig, though. If you, if you, ever, if you ever chilled or, and hung out with Craig outside of battle rap, outside of the, you know, uh, the, the the dungeon group and stuff. That's how he is. He's very just, like, uh, happy and playful and, and and all that stuff. He is who he personifies on, on stage. And so um, I think that 
if he goes in there with a chip on his shoulder, I mean, you know, it, I mean, it'll it'll be a great battle. So I think that the like I said, the safe bet. I, I think if you're just asking me, I think I would think that Deuce would win two one. I think I think that is a safe bet. I think I think that night Deuce wins. I always look at it from like if we get the best Craig ever and the best Deuce ever, the best Craig beats the best Deuce. In my yeah, from opinion. what because we see. Yeah, from what we seen. Yeah. And not just from what we see, from the different elements Craig can present in a battle mm-hmm. versus you know what you're getting from Deuce. Yeah. Craig can go a little. He's yeah. Not orthodox can do different things. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But like you say, everybody knows that Craig is gonna fall short. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere he always he just does. That's just who he is now, and that sucks. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? And it, <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, it kinda, so it kind of does suck to say that that that's who he is now. You know? Hey, but but it's not like we it's not like we hoping for that. We telling him like, yo, we rooting for three yeah. clean rounds. Yeah, just give us three clean yeah. rounds, bro. Go in there, and just 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 put it together, and you can do it. That's a fact. If, 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 if Deuce washes Craig, right, is will there ever be a Loso versus Deuce? Because I think I think personally, being a fan of this, I think that right now determines the current. I don't know, King of Tampa. What do you say? Do you think yeah. you're the King of Tampa, right? Uh, I mean, you're, I, I, you're clearly you're clearly the bigger name. I mean, that, yeah. that's clear. We're not that's, we're not to debate that. But does Deuce get a shot if he washes Craig or Tampa? Deuce, <laughs> Deuce can get a shot if he loses. You're know saying like, I mean, I'll battle Deuce even if he if he loses to Craig. You know what I'm saying? But um, uh, just because of of who Deuce is in the city and and, and you know. I, I just think that'll be it'd be dope regardless. But um if that happens, yeah. Loso, listen, if that happens, that has to happen on E T V, bro. Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. To, you got my word, you got your I got your word on that. that yeah, we was we were we were trying to oh I don't know, it wasn't it wasn't Deuce, it was somebody else that we were trying to uh, make happen on this car. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um okay. yeah, yeah. No, you got you got my word and I'm I'm with that. I think that um uh, as far as the, the question that you asked, I'm gonna be real. I I mean it's it's not even just that the, it's it's not like popularity. It's just like like what what which one you want to go off work ethic? I mean you got it. You know what? Like how am I not? You know what I'm saying? I'm just like I put in the most work. You know what I'm saying? I've never stopped. This is I'm going on nine years, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I mean it feels like it was yesterday that you know I battle problems, but. I'm going on nine years in you battle rap. On, you started battle rapping on the ETD stage. Is ETD, that yeah, that's, no, that's right, right. That is. That's like my first battle. Yeah, I, I, like I said, like yeah. I, it feels like it was yesterday that I battled problems, but I'm talking about nine years of at least. I mean, you know, when we first start, when I first started, the, the uh, battling a lot was like you battling five times a year. You know what I'm saying? Like that was. So I was doing that, but I mean, since then, since 2018, I mean, I've been. You're talking about you're looking at somebody who's been battling like nine, ten times a year. You know what I'm saying? Like consistent, consistent work on all major platforms. I've done every there hasn't been one major card that I haven't been on. And so, I mean, it's not even on no hate. Like, I mean, I know people kind of, you know, they want to like self-proclaim themselves. But to me, you know, it's, 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 it's that it's that old slogan, bro. It's just like, yo, when you're good, you tell everybody. When you're great, everybody tells you. You know what I'm saying? And so, if if that's the if that's the conversation out there, I think that the majority of the people would would tell you like, yeah, it has to be low. So, I mean, and even if they don't want to admit it, I mean, it's just like they just gotta they just gotta put the num- they just gotta look at the stats, the numbers and stuff. So, I think like if you did something like a one day tournament or something like that, right, where it's just like, okay, cool, let's just put all these, you know. Get Fred in here. Get get Twin Cow. Get get Lil Rose. Get Craig. Get myself. Get Deuce. Like you put everybody in it, and was just like, I right, bet one day let's just do a King of Tampa tournament, something like that. Then yeah, you know that that I mean that might that might be like okay, look, I won this tournament type of thing. But it just depends on how you want to look at it. Do you want to look at it like this one on one battle, or do you want to look at it like over the course of someone's career on like yo who the is truly work, the work. yeah who is yeah. truly the best battler. From Tampa, and and like I said, I mean Tampa to me is is just uh, just a starting point because I mean I think it's all of Florida for me, but all time I think it's all of Florida. But I mean the Tampa conversation, we can have that one. Right, I, I agree. I agree. I think Florida's mm-hmm. a, a, a larger, you know, uh, radius boundary when we get into that. 
But mm-hmm. you know, my thing is Tampa. You know, that's that's yeah. that's what I that's what I'm focused on Tampa. But that but, but that's what I'm saying though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If I if I am uh, if the majority of people are looking at me as the best or probably the greatest Florida battler of every, of all time, then we already know the answer for the city. Hold on, you know hold on. what I'm saying? You think you're the greatest Florida battle rapper ever? I do. Yeah. <laughs> do. I do now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, dude, dude why you look so surprised? Ever, yeah. bro, ever. That's that's a big statement, bro. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. who, who, who would I, you put, nobody, would you nobody put popped up there? in my head. Nobody popped in my head. That's the thing. Nah, I mean, like, like, like head, Johnny, bro. like, like to me, it's like Johnny Storm. You know what I'm saying? You got to put John, like Johnny Storm definitely has a case for that too. I mean, and I wouldn't even be. I mean, maybe, maybe today in 2024, right? If you if you put him, unfortunately, just because he comes from uh, the grind time era, but he's still today. Like I'm, I'm, I do cards with Johnny all over the country. Me and him are on on a lot of cards, and he's still competing at a he's high active. level. He's active. He's, he's more active. Look, put it this way: Johnny is to me the second most active battler in this in the state. Like outside of me, he's battling. He's battling a lot. He may not be battling as much as me. Like. This past year, I battled probably like 15, 16 times, but Johnny is battling a lot. And on top of that, he's performing and he's still competing against some of the best in the world. You know, he, he was doing well in the King of the Dot tournament. He's going all around. Like, I think that um, and he's and he's able to he's translated. I mean, he's he's transitioned from era to era. Like he was in that ground time era, King of the Dot, early smack. I mean, not that he was on those stages or whatnot, like as far as smack stuff, but he was still rapping, and then even now, like he's able to still compete with. Like I seen him go toe to toe with Clone. I'm seeing him battle. You know, um, um, uh, okay. Matt, I think he battled Matt Flex or what. Like he's battling like a bunch yep. of different yep. people that are yep. competing yep. now. That I'm like, yo, like they ain't just clearing Johnny like that. You know what I'm saying? Where they might be doing that to somebody else. So, uh, but I think that's probably the only other person. I mean, but which is not a not a bad thing to be uh to be against because like i said johnny's been around for so long but just personally i mean just resume accomplishments all that stuff um I yeah I, 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 I not even for argument not even i want to argue and i can't even think of somebody else bro to even bring up like i'm trying <laughs> to like wanna make this. i yeah. want to argue bro but i can't even that's think why of, that's why when you start doing the tampa crazy. conversation Start start here first and then and then move down. And now if me and now if somebody was like Deuce is the greatest Florida battle rapper of time or Craig is the greatest Florida battle rapper of time, then okay, then I'm like, okay, cool. Now we can talk about the city. But my thing is like, I don't even know why I would truly, truly entertain the city conversation if the state conversation is kind of already wrapped up. I agree. In Tampa, who who's who's the top in Tampa to you, excluding yourself? Who's like the top three to you? I, the greatest Tampa battler of all time. If if I'm not in it, if I'm if we're not talking about me. Yeah, not um, excluding you. I would say it's Fred Ease. And I would say the reason oh. I'm saying and the reason, let me let me explain. The reason why I'm gonna say Fred Ease. And now granted, the only knock on Fred that he has, unfortunately, is that he doesn't have the um the range that some of the other guys like the different stages that some other people touch right but on but but let's put it this way though i mean like my thing's like cool he doesn't have like a uh like a a url joint or kot or 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 rbe joint like craig and deuce has but um i don't know i mean like you know that's just to to, to me i'm gonna tell you why because and the reason why i'm gonna say fred is because Yo, Fred and Fred don't duck no smoke. I feel like if you told Fred today, if you told Fred to and Fred today, I've seen posts, I've seen him comment, yo, deuce, what's up? The day the night that me and Craig battled, Fred told Trips, Fred was like, yo, I will battle Deuce and I'll do it for the city. Deuce, I think Deuce did, I don't know, I don't want to speak for Deuce, but from what was what was said is that Deuce didn't want to do it. But my thing is like, Fred has stood in front of me. Fred has stood in front of Craig. Fred has stood in front of uh did he battle Lou Cypher? Yeah, he battled Lou Cipher. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, like the the guys that you that we Cypher. all consider the top guys, Fred has stood in front of them. You know what I'm saying? Fred has battled all, and Fred and think about it. Fred stepped up after my second battle. I will never ever have nothing negative to say about Fred because after my battle with problems, I called out Deuce and I called out Craig. 
both of them, Craig laughed. Deuce was like, no, you got to do more, right? And we were trying to find myself an opponent at that time. And Fred stepped up and was like, what's up? Fred is a vet in, in, in ETD. And Fred was just like, yo, I'm going to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember William H. had made some comments at that time saying like, nah, you know, I got to go ahead and kill him. But Fred was the only one that stepped up. Now, and I remember calling out Lord Sparks at that time. I wanted about a Lord Sparks. I remember, I, uh, uh, what was his name? Sire E or Sir E or something like that. Yeah, Sir, e. Um, Sir, e. Sir E. Like, I remember <laughs> wanting to battle these guys and all of them were just like, they laughed at me because I only quote unquote one. But in my mind, I was just like, yeah, I had one battle, but it tripled all y'all views. So why wouldn't y'all want to go ahead and just battle me? And Fred looked at it like, yo, I'm going to go stop him. You know what I'm saying? And so we had a great battle that night. And to me, that that's just show that's just a, a snippet of the type of like warrior he is. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a lot of the new school guys in, in the city probably don't really know him like that. But to me, regardless of how you kind of like look at his style or whatnot, the reason why I'm saying that is because I think did, did Fred battle Twin Cal on Zoo? I feel like Fred has battled like any guy that was that was coming up or was the guy he's battled red flair he's battled like you know what i'm saying like i don't even know what else to me that's why i would say fred is that guy i would um i, I want to kind of almost put like twin cal in that combo i haven't seen him in a long time but i remember at one point i used to feel like yo twin is always uh he is tampa like i felt like if tampa was a battle rapper it would be twin cal <laughs> but um hold but on, then before, i hold on before you yeah. move forward I love the fact that you gave Fred East his flowers, bro, because yeah. people forget Fred East. People forgot what he's done for the battle culture in the mm -hmm. city of Tampa. So for you to go mm -hmm. back and skip over all these Tampa battle rappers and mm -hmm. name Fred East, though, name yeah. Fred East, that's super dope, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super dope, bro. Yeah. Fred East and I, and like I said, I just feel like it's just because like, he, like he'll battle any – he's battled those guys. Like he's battled all – like, and, and he's been – and – the only guy he hasn't battled is Deuce, but he's been calling out Deuce ever since the beginning. Deuce said at the face-off, he's going to battle Fred Ease. He said it. Did you hear him, Manic? I heard him. He said yeah. he's going to give Fred Ease that shot. He did say that. Yeah. So that's but, uh, don't, don't say it like he's giving him the shot. Like, but Freddy's doesn't battle no more. But Freddy's doesn't battle no more. Like you know what I'm saying. So Freddy's, Fred, like, what you mean? Like, he doesn't battle. Like he hasn't battled, or he, or he says like he's not battling anymore. Well, by by choice, um, he he doesn't want anyone but Deuce at this point. Yeah, he feels like he, you know, no one. He's not really, you know, motivated for anyone else. Yeah, and, you know, I, respect I can that. understand that. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So yeah, it's only one yeah, person that's gonna exactly. get him. Yeah, it's only one person that's gonna get. And he just feels like that's a city battle anyway. It's only one person that's gonna get him out his seat. And he's like, I right, bet. Let's go ahead and lock in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, right, so okay. as far as like yesterday we was talking a little bit about, you know, the the the, the King of Tampa thing, right? Like mm -hmm. do you do you feel like because of the work you've put in, your work ethic, your longevity in, in battle rap and all that, do you feel like that title still means something to you? Or is it kinda like you know, I, I, no, I, I No, it does. It and that's why like that's why you gotta think about it. I probably feel like if you just feel, if you just ask me personally, I probably like, I probably feel like three years ago, I probably had that wrapped up, right? But every year, it's it's not even so much that the title. It's just that like I just feel like I just carry, and so there's been conversations and and trash talk always like, oh, Loso doesn't do X, Y, and Z for the city or for the state, right? I don't know in their, what what in their mind they want me to do. Personally, I don't have a desire to start a battle league. Like, not everybody has to start a battle league, and we're, we should be okay with that. Just because you are popping, just because you have a name, doesn't mean you need to go back to your hometown and start a battle league. It's okay if you do something else. One. Two, there hasn't been, put it this way, I don't know if they also feel like, yo, well, why don't you grab a battler and kind of just, quote, unquote, co-sign them, right? But my thing is, like, I've, I I, I've, I've plugged I've plugged people in with certain people. You know what I'm saying? I don't done, I done said my thing, but my thing is, like, there hasn't so first before i address that let me say you should never expect someone to do something that you yourself didn't even want to do for them and let me go ahead and reiterate what i said earlier remember when i was coming up and i asked i asked several guys for shots i got laughed in my face 
That's that's documented. That's facts. That's just is what it is. Law Sparks even apologized years later and was like, damn, I dropped the ball on that. Like, they know, you know what I'm saying? Just look at it. It's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure the Portland Trailblazers, you know, they still kicking themselves in the foot for not drafting Jordan. You know what I'm saying? It's just mm-hmm. like, yo, you you lose, you you win some, you lose some. But but um, and then on top of that, I'm gonna be real. Since my career, I'm a, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just I'm gonna call it like, like it is, bro. I can't remember one battle that I had. I can't remember one battle that I had that a Tampa battler. Maybe, maybe even a Florida battler flew out and supported Loso at one of one of his events. Don't know. I don't know one that that wasn't on the card already, and that, that I'm talking about like yo Tampa's up there because to me Tampa's always under my name. I always shout out Tampa in my intros. I always say you know whatever it is like people know I'm a Florida battle. I'm like and and I'm born. In Queens, New York, and I've never, ever in my life as a battle rap career has ever rep New York. Why? Because I was raised in Tampa. I moved here when I was ten. I learned how to talk. I learned how. I mean, as far as like the the like the lingo that I use. You know what I'm saying? Like my first fight, my first girlfriend. I graduated high school. I get everything is is Florida for me. So I would be. I, I think I would be fake to even go rep something that. Yeah, I was. I was. I was born there, and I also. You know, I lived there for 10 years and stuff like that, and I got family there. But Florida is home for me. Tampa is home. I've never left Tampa. I went to middle school. I went to fifth grade and then mid, all of middle school, all of high school, college, everything in Tampa. Never moved once. And um, always came back. Always battled and set Tampa and stuff like that. So I always do that. One, they can't ever say nothing about that. But then um, two, it's just like, yo, like I said, whenever I battled and I looked behind me, I didn't see I didn't see nobody from the city. You know, I had friends. I had like like personal friends who weren't part of the battle rap culture who flew out and probably supported me like that. But for people to go ahead and and say, you know, like, oh, Loso ain't do this. Loso ain't do that. Why would you want? Why? Why do you expect me to do something for you that I I didn't have nobody? Yo, I took my own. I, I remember Annex. I remember I hit you up when after the Freddie's battle. I don't know if you remember this, man. We sh- we should have put this in the documentary too. But after the Freddie's battle, you told me he was like, "Los, man, um, I want to get you another opponent." But but remember, because I just got hit two times with the whole um, with the same angle as far as like gambling, right? Um, yeah. And it was like, "Oh, you you know you're a Christian, you can't gamble stuff." And so you were just I suggested like, "Yo, a Christian." I suggested another Christian. Yeah, and you had just suggested, "Yo, what could we do to to so that you can you can." Kind of get in front of something new, you know what I'm saying? Um, but we were trying to figure it out. But then that's when I had heard about. I also had asked you to reach out to Spit That Heat, and I think you did. But we we got like a um, uh, we we like Harriet, and I even tell her today, Harriet. She just uh, I think they just weren't interested in whatever they saw, which was fine. But then I then I found out about the bullpen tryouts, and I asked you, and you said, "Yo, Los, I think that'll be a good look." So out of my own dollar, I paid. Bro, people don't know this. I paid money out of my um my own pocket to, to join it. I paid money out of my own pocket to rent a car. I went up there. I did not have any more money to go ahead and get a hotel. I slept in my car while I went up there. I slept in my car the night before, waited out there. I was I was one of the first people at the event. You know, I did all that stuff, but long story short, and I and I took oh, and I, I left the rental there and then I drove a bus back and I and I not drove, but I did a I did a Greyhound back out of my own dime, right? Like it was just me investing in myself, but I won the whole tournament, right? And so, but it wasn't nobody else. It was even after that conversation, you know what the conversation was? Well, Deuce was, Deuce is already on bullpen. And you know, and, and, and this dude is doing this. And then this, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, okay, like I'm, again, it was just me kind of making those moves and me kind of just figuring, it was no blueprint. There was not another Tampa battler that can show me Loso, when you start getting to this level, this is what you should do, or this is the, the nothing like that. So I had to learn on my own. And on top of that, it wasn't even that I was learning on my own, but it didn't never felt like I had an army behind me that it was just like, go, Los, go. You know what I'm saying? And maybe because I'll say this, I'll take some of the ownership because maybe for them, they probably felt like, well, you're repping your faith more than you are your city, right? And they probably felt like, well, you know, because I'm not necessarily a believer. I, I can't like I like maybe that's probably I'm, I'm trying to give them a benefit of the doubt. But regardless, though, that never separated, you know, who I was in the city or whatnot. And so um, 
so like so so back to the premise as far as me um still holding that you know that banner like still holding it proud as far as the king of tampa yeah every every year i'm, I'm not retiring i got no plans on retiring you know what i'm saying i mean i'm about to battle i'm about to battle in eight days i just got booked for, for eight days and out in maryland um you know what i'm saying on url uh for well url similar it's a one-off out in maryland and i'm about to take it in eight days you know what i'm saying and then right after that i got mac and clean in michigan which is really me and mac you know what i'm saying but it's a two-on-two -two, but it's probably it's probably gonna be you know me and Mac just talking, and then right after that, a week later, I got official, official. in my hometown yeah. in New Orleans, New Orleans. and it, and it we're still going to be working. You know what I'm saying? So like, like I just look at any other battle as like, um, look, Tampa. Like, first of all, outwork me too. And if you just want that type of, if you want that type of love and support, bro. And and second, of, oh, wait, wait, and let me even get to this, Annex. I you can ask trips. You can ask um, any other any other league, even any any event that was going on. I could probably go ahead and say, yo, I'm just walking in, right? I'm loso type of thing. Like, I don't I don't pay for no URL events. I don't pay for no KOTD events. Why would I do? Every time I support with my own dollar too, bro. I pull up to those events, not because I'm I'm paid to be there. You know what I'm saying? If I'm in the city and I'm free, I'm going to go to the events. I'm going to support. I'm going to do that. And so, um, you know, yeah, I don't, I don't battle a lot in the city. But I also think that that is a good thing because – it'll make it a big deal when, when it is. And, you know, the more, I, the more I kind of gain um, notoriety and stuff like that every year, it's going to, especially the last couple of years, I feel like Tampa in general has been, you know, I've been, I've been linking up with 94.1 Joey franchise, different things or whatnot, where like people who weren't inside the culture. Now, if I go pop out and do a battle, it'll be a bigger thing than what it was back then. It was just really just who I, who followed me on IG, but now I got relationships. So, um, I would never, I would never take it lightly as far as like holding that, that Tampa, but I just feel like it, instead of just, you know, people just talking on like, well, what have you done? And what this, that, and the third, it's just like, yo, you, you see, you see the work and it's not going to stop. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep repping Tampa, whether or not you believe I'm putting on for the city. I know what I'm doing. I may not be doing it the way that you want to, because I've heard some people say like, oh, well, you know, Don Marino in Miami is. Um, you know, he got a league and, and, you know, he's always, uh, quote unquote, co-signing, you know, some of his guys to go, you know, uh, on, on this stuff. I said, well, that's Don salute to Don. That, that's, that's how Don is operating. That's how you may operate. That's how everybody doesn't have to move the same way. But if we're just talking about repping, like, don't, don't say that I'm not, I'm not putting on for the city. Cause I've never, ever shunned where I came from. I think you are. I think, I think you always have, I don't think you've ever shot away from, the city of Tampa representing Tampa, like the fact that you care about who the king of Tampa is, like says a lot because you, you don't have to care. You know what I'm saying? You you somewhere else doing other bigger mm -hmm. things than, than mm -hmm. Tampa. Sad to say, but that's the truth. But your ego is still like, hold on, who the king of Tampa? It ain't closer than then who who is it? Bring him yeah. outside. I want to yeah. talk to him. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think I think that says a lot about your character of who you are. You know what I'm saying? As far as for your love for the city, like you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like you yeah, now I don't, now I don't, and deal. I don't necessarily. I would say that it still means a lot to me, but I won't. I won't necessarily entertain. Like for instance, like let me say it's like Lord Rose, right? I've seen several things of him making comment. People have came to me and said, "Yo, he's he's talking. You know, he's talking trash about you, or saying something negative, or saying that you ain't. You know what I'm saying?" And I think that that's. I don't think it's not personal. I do think that it's in the spirit of of, of competition. But I'm not going. I'm not going to get off. I'm not going to lower myself to go ahead and and even and even entertain that dialogue because I feel like me entertaining um, Lil Rose on who the king of whatever is actually giving light and giving energy to something that I feel like is is kind of laughable. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way you really you could you could say that. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't no way you could ain't no way that people around the country is gonna go ahead. And like maybe maybe your maybe your own boys and your, you know your own you know your hood or, or your league is like that. I'm talking about when the country starts hearing people in Tampa kind of saying all this stuff or putting out lists and not have like it's laughable when people put out lists, bro, and they don't have Loso at the top. Like it's like like to them, I'm talking about. This is not even to me. I'm talking about literally like when yeah. it's Twitter, like they just like. Like the Tay Rocks, we talking about the Tay Rocks, we talking about the the the, the Geechees, whoever whoever the twerks, like when they look at those lists and you're like, 
bro, come, you really want me to take this? I, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and probably look at these other names. But if I don't see Loso right now, I know you guys are just trolling. Yeah. Because to them, that's, that's all they that's all they know. Yeah. Yeah. That's who they. That's who they see. My thing is like when you start talking that that keen stuff, or when you start talking that I'm this, I'm that, and then you start lowering the rim because that's how I I look at it. Like it's ten feet, keep it there. But when you start lowering the rim, like, well, I, who's battled the most in the city, or 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 who you know who's battled on all the different Tampa leagues, or who um whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? To me, I'm just like, yo, you gotta not don't just make the people who are cool with you believe that. Go make the non-believers believe. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. Go make them believe that you that you that man and that they could go. Now, when they think of Tampa, who are they thinking of? You know what I'm saying? Now, if your name is coming up in discussion, then cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, if your name is coming up in discussions of, like, when they think of this city or they think of this state, you're you're coming up. I'm like, okay, cool. Now we can have a conversation. But you're right. I don't, now, I don't know why certain people aren't getting flown. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to say this though. You can't blame politics forever. How many years you going to keep blaming politics? You know what I'm saying? I did it. So I know for a fact, anybody else can do it. If you nice, you're nice, bro. Excellence can't be denied that long. And so if you that great, trust me, someone's going to go ahead and say, yeah, you can compete in the NBA. You can compete with all these guys on these leagues, on these biggest stages when the lights are the brightest and well, well, you'll you'll be a you'll be a frequent, you know what I'm saying, in this rotation. You'll be in the rotation. You'll get playing time on all these different leagues. And and you trying to tell me, cool, if you if it's not even URL, you trying to tell me none of y'all even became a a, a frequent in KOTD, RBE, whatever staple league that was out there. And then you know we got champion of the year. Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, what what? That's this. They they rank over twenty thousand battlers. Every year, they try to dwindle it down to 20 battlers with the, tw the, the 20 best resumes of that year, 20 best years of that year. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? I, they've done it six times. I've been in four of them. And every time I've been ranked, there's never been lower than 12. You know what I'm saying? Like, like how are you like you being disrespectful? The reason why I can't lower myself to entertain those conversations is because it's disrespect. Now, if it was on a respectful manner, then OK, but it's just disrespectful when we're not being honest. I don't know, man. Like, like Deuce, I hate, like, I feel like Deuce can be, I want to see Deuce on a super large stage. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I don't yeah. know where the disconnect is. I don't know what it is. And I said the other day, I was like, man, I wish Loso could help Deuce get to a bigger stage. I think mm -hmm. Loso, I, I could be wrong. I feel like Loso has that pull to maybe get Deuce on a large, large stage. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, I would love to see him do that. I think he will excel on that level. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I. I mean, I don't. I don't think I do. Uh, just because of like the climate of like it's just so many. You got to think about it. They have a. If you talk about URL, they have a formula now. They have the crucibles. They have all this stuff, and it's just like, you know, it just be difficult to kind of just bring somebody be like, hey, you know, they they they're gonna get on this type of card. I mean, it's just it's just gonna be kind of like tough. He, he, if he can get to a crucible. Mm hmm. But that'll be that'll be something. But that's another conversation for one of these guys to like if they're gonna humble themselves and do that because you basically telling somebody who done who done been, who done did PGs you know who's done yeah. several battles or whatnot who's battle top tier guys to be like hey do you want to be considered because at the end of the day if he if he humbles himself to do something like that he's gonna be looked at as a rookie and do say no rookie you know what I'm saying so like that'll be something. That's kind of like uh, it, it depends on what his goal is, and I don't think his goal I now. Agree, agree, agree. Yeah, I don't think his goal now is to quote unquote make it to the top of the game. It's just like yo, he loves it for the when he steps outside. It's for the competition, you know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. I just think that um, again, you know, saying in closing that I definitely want to see you and Deuce in that ring. Um, mm. I think if if Craig watches Deuce, I personally don't want to see a Deuce versus Loso. I just mm. don't because you yeah. smoke. You smoke Craig, yeah. like you know. What, what about saying? Deuce and Fred then? Yeah, do you no, want to see? Do you want to? Do you want to see that at, in 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 any in, in for any reason? Deuce versus Fred. Truthfully, I don't, bro. I'm not a fan of Fred like that, bro. I, I'm not. Yeah. But he's respected. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. people respect Ice Cube. I'm not a fan of Cube. I don't think he's forty. Like to see that. I don't I think he's forty. Like you know but niggas, so niggas wait, consider yeah. E forty a legend. I I, I don't. Still, like you're saying okay. Say, uh, if if Craig beats Deuce, right? Right. You know Craig already battled Loso. 
Right. That that would you you still wouldn't want to see Deuce versus Loso? He done. I didn't say Deuce versus Loso. He said Deuce versus Fred. No, no, but before Oh, you're asking me. Oh, well, no, he said he I said he said if know. Craig washed, he said if Craig washed Deuce though, he said he wouldn't. Yeah. If Craig, yeah. If Craig washes Deuce, I, I don't want I'm not interested in seeing a Deuce versus versus uh Loso to be honest. In my opinion, I think bro. all four. Hey. I think all four. Fred, Deuce, Loso, Craig. I think everybody should. I think everybody should battle each other. And Fred is like he's. I mean, he's almost completed everybody. But and and then Craig, once he battles Deuce, he would have three guys on that resume too. But it has um, Deuce versus Loso has to happen. Forget what I'm talking yeah. about, bro. Deuce versus Loso. <laughs> it has to happen at some point, bro. Like it just. It has to happen. It has to go down, bro. You think like, Deuce and Loso? You think Deuce and Loso should should happen? That has more priority than do than Loso and Lord Rose. Yes, I think Annex, Deuce. You, Annex, you feel the same way? You and Deuce? You think that has right now in twenty twenty four? You think that mm-hmm. that has more priority than Loso and Lord Rose? Just yes. like the climate of the city and stuff. I do. I do because I mean. Both of you guys are started with ETB. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? For me personally, that would just be something dope to see. You know, yeah, two, yeah. two of the yeah. top guys that came out of ETB mm-hmm. going at it. You know what I mean? I just mm-hmm. I love to see shit like that. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. So yeah, for me personally, yeah, yeah that would I, I I would say that. Has and Rose and Rose and Deuce haven't right. battled, right? Rose and Deuce haven't battled. Rose and Deuce have not battled yet. No. And Rose and Craig. Rose I thought like they might have done a one round or something like that, right? I don't know. Who do you uh, feel? Who do you feel deserve Loso, bro? Is it Deuce or is it Lord, bro? Who do so you I'm feel? A, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. Um, the tougher battle would be Deuce, but if you're talking about deserving, like in the city, it it would be Lord Rose. That's just I'm a. That's no hate, nothing like that. Like Lord Rose does. Like if I'm talking about, I mean, not in the grand scheme of things, right? Because like if, if I put it on my Instagram or something like that, probably they probably wouldn't know who he is and not like that. But I'm just talking about in the city. I do think that deserving it is it is Rose because of the consistent work that he's putting in. He has been consistently calling me out. I do. I, I'm not gonna front. There's been several. Um, there's been a couple of people in the city who have who have who have came up to me separately trying to make that battle happen. You know what I'm saying? And um, like Annex was like the third or the fourth person. And so I do know that he's try- he's been trying to do that. I do know like maybe it's just been like people been around him and he's been and he's brought it up like, yeah, you know, I want to kill Loso and all this King Tampa stuff or whatnot. But it has came up to me. So I, I would say that Rose is probably more deserving. He's earned it. Rose has earned it. I, I think right now, I right now, he's yeah. he's probably more deserving. Right now, in twenty twenty four, I think like yeah, but but then the tradition and just the just the aura of the matchup, it is still Deuce though, because no matter how how long Deuce stay, sits out or like how much he doesn't quote unquote battle, there is this uh, mystique about him in Tampa that no matter what, he's never going to be knocked out of a, well, he just hasn't. I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is um, a credit to him or if this is a knock on the city, but like nobody has really came in and like knocked him out of that conversation where, or, or Craig for that, you know what I'm saying? Even as much as Craig messed up, think about it to this day, when people try to go ahead and give you that top three, it just seems to be like, okay, Loso, but then it's like Deuce and Craig. And it's like, yo, y'all can say Deuce ain't doing this, and y'all can say Craig keeps messing up. But at the end of the day, it's like, what other guy has came along in the last, what we going on, 10 years? You know what I'm saying? The last, you trying to tell me the last decade there hasn't been another Tampa battler that has really stamped his foot into this city and said, yeah, I'm, not, I'm better than at least two of these guys. I don't know. I don't know if that's a credit to those guys, or I don't know if that's a knock on the city. I just don't know. Uh, what you think, Alex? Yeah, uh, I, I think I think, I think, he, I think he makes a strong point, bro. I mean, how can you argue with that, really? You know what I bro, mean? Bro, we we, 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 in, we in, if you're talking in terms of, of like work put in, I think Rose definitely has has put in a significant amount of work. Not only not only in Tampa, like in the state of Florida, you know, what yeah. I mean? He's put in. Mm-hmm. A significant amount of work yeah, battling, yeah. you know, battling not just local guys, but 
but names as well. You know what I mean? People like yeah. Anthony Myers and uh, yeah, Trade the Night Wing. In, yeah, you know. So yeah, I think in terms of work, I would I would uh, I would have to agree with Loso. But in 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 terms of like personal feeling and and aura and things of that nature, right? I, I, I would still like to see Deuce yeah. with Loso. Even even like like you say, Dale. Like even if Craig Wash is Deuce. You know what I mean? Like, because Craig already battled Loso, so we can't say, all right, Craig versus Loso. Right. I mean, him. but I agree. It has to happen. Loso versus Deuce eventually does have to happen. I think Deuce and Fred E's will happen. But you, but you, but you, but dear, you're also saying though that it that for you that battle doesn't have to happen. Yeah, <laughs> like you're yeah, saying, I, like deal, because the way you're, the way you, the way I don't know, Anix, if you're picking up on it, the way I'm getting it is like deals, like yeah, because you know, like when you were trying to like say like, yo, you're I don't want you to Come on, you and Deuce. No, you were no Fred and Deuce. You're saying that battle doesn't yeah. have to happen for you, right? For me, I'm not excited to see that battle. I'm not. I'm not excited because that, that battle is a straight. It's it's kind of it washes itself. It's like there's no that battle has no 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 meaning to me. Like you know what I'm saying? Because Fred doesn't care to be the best in the city. Fred doesn't care to be battling. Fred just wants to battle Deuce, and that battle doesn't just Deuce doesn't gain or lose from that battle. It's just uh, it's, it's a hobby battle. Something something to do. Like I don't like those kind of battles personally. Like you know what I'm saying? So you think the it's city, like it's, it's more like different. a personal mi- milestone for for Fred? Yeah, to, it, is, to, it, is, it is. 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 But it is. but it's yeah. but that's that's just because of the you know you just start if you just start reminding people of Fred's resume and what he's done. I mean, I think then it'll carry more weight. But I mean, yeah, it will be a personal one for him. But at the same time, like you were mentioning earlier, you was like you know you don't listen to Ice Cube, but you don't listen to E Forty. But my thing is like. You did listen to Freddie's. You would you would you not consider Fred part of your class? Yeah, but but Fred doesn't care about it now. That's what I'm saying. Like to me, it wouldn't matter because Fred doesn't really yeah, care yeah, yeah. about right now. The, yeah, the yeah, battle. yeah, yeah. So he didn't, it's nothing to it. Doesn't yeah, mean yeah, nothing yeah, yeah. To I see him. what you're saying. Yeah, that's that's why it's like it's not. He doesn't want to. He doesn't. He doesn't want to do it. He'll do it for Deuce, but that's it. So that's why it's kind of like I'm not excited about it. Like eh, you know, I feel like he's. I think it's almost more so like he's just looking at like. The guys that that I would I would have needed to battle, I've already battled, bro. I've already I've already went to war with the, who 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 are you guys saying is the in best? The city? Twin? In the city, yeah. in the city, yeah. Who you guys like for Fred? Deuce he's looking back. Deuce don't, Deuce, Deuce Fred, don't Fred is on his Fred is on his rocking chair. Like who did y'all say? Twin, Loso, uh, Red Flair, um, um, Lou Cipher, Anybody? Craig Lamar. He was like, yo, I went I went to war with all of them. And I've been and while I was going to war with all of them, I only went to war with them because the number one guy I wanted to go to war with didn't go to war with me. So he's just like, Yeah, so I'm sitting back. He probably looks at it like I got all the stones in my infinity gauntlet. Fred could kick back his feet and be like, yo, like I've been Tampa since day one. I've seen I've seen guys come and go. Like, what you right. want me to do? This is like, gonna like, hype Fred up. This is gonna hype Fred up, bro. <laughs> This but it don't need to. Fred it's but it's not even to hype Fred up. It's to remind people of the tradition of of like the tradition of the league. You know what I'm saying? Guys who put in work. I would never ever like talk trash about people who came before me who was really putting in that that pain. You know what I'm saying? Who kept putting in that pain? And you know, so, I, people all people always say I'm hating, bro. But it's just like I said, man. I'm just I'm just opinionated, bro. And this is this yeah. is my take on, on things. And I don't think Freddie's a trash rapper, but He's he's yeah. he's done with battle rap, bro. Like you know, yeah. what I'm saying? but well, we I, are. I we do. Are, we're, 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 I do want to make one statement though, because I, I said this earlier, whatnot. So I just want to make sure. And if you guys see anything like, oh, Loso was saying that nobody support. What I was not saying was that like nobody support. Because even you two, right? I would always say that you guys have supported me, right? I'm not saying that. What what I was getting at was like that physical support, like what people were wanting me to kind of do, like battlers, like hey, bring them up. I was like, yo, I've never seen nobody you know, pull up to, to one of my events, like out of the state or something like that. But I'm not saying that no support because Freddie's was one guy who's, who's always supported me. You guys have obviously, you know, online, like a lot of, like people have definitely, you know, yo, low, so this, low, so that. So I wanted to make sure like, if it came out and all of a sudden people were typing in, it was like, what you mean? We ain't never support, you know, I always, you know, fought for you on Twitter and Facebook. I was not talking about like an online presence. I was talking about more so like, out of your own Physically. dime, like you, yeah, yeah, you come in. Yeah, it means something more when I, you know, when I got, you know, the city behind me type of thing. Yeah, and that's crazy that you never, like you said, that like you never had nobody 
basically outside of your circle of friends, like fly mm -hmm. out, you know what I'm saying, somewhere and support you because all the battle rappers do for, for their city. You know what I'm saying? You see Averb, mm -hmm. you see Hitman, you see the rest of the crew, you see St. Louis, you see mm -hmm. Jersey, you see them niggas together. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't do that mm -hmm. unless, like you say, unless they're on the card. Tampa doesn't do that, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? What about Blick? I've always said Blick will, I always said Blick will beat you. I've always said that. I've always said that for years. You I've still feel that way? <laughs> He just, he, <laughs> Blip reminds me of yeah, yeah, hey, so, To me, it's just like, it's just like, he's a, he's why do they automatically just think like, yo, these guys, and I'm just like, all right, so why didn't they go over there and go, go kill it? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it? You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is. I do feel like, I feel like Blake probably could, it'll be a good one. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be good. I'm fine with that. Yeah. But where do you put Blick at? Is Blick, is Blick? I don't think Blick is Tampa. I, I don't think Blick is. Stop. Tampa. That's a cop out. He. he you know I, I hate when people say that. No, he is to me. Blick is Tampa. Uh, Blick yeah, is Tampa. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Blick okay. is Tampa. Okay. I think I mean, he's more. He's yeah. more Tampa than than New York or North Carolina, where, wherever uh, you know else that he he reps. I think he's more Tampa than that. And and Lou Cipher. Um. I, I for some reason I just think of Lou Cipher as Florida, but is he was he Tampa though? If I'm not mistaken, I think, Where's Luke I from? think Where's he, he from? lives. I think he lives in Tampa, bro. If I'm not mistaken, or at one point he did. Like when he was battling in e that. when he was battling ETD, where was he coming from? I believe then Orlando. I, believe I, remember. That, I remember. I don't know. I remember seeing him bat battling in Orlando, but I I want to say I had a conversation with, with him one time and he mentioned that he lived in Tampa. Don't quote me on that because my memory mm. is fucking trash bags. Mm. But I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah. I think he said that to me before, man. But I'm not, I'm not 100 percent sure. But yes, to so go we back gonna... on something real quick, uh, Loso. Right. When you said um, um, uh, that that people might have felt like you were repping your faith more than you were the city, my city, right? Mm. Um, I think when you first came in, like. You made a you made an impact not only in views but like mm -hmm. in people in the building. You mm -hmm. know what I mean. So it might have seemed to some to folks that don't know or don't follow closely, like it might have seemed like you came in mm -hmm. with a following already and a lot yeah. of folks who supported you mm -hmm. already. Now that's not to you know give a cop out or anything and yeah. say that people shouldn't have supported mm -hmm. you. You know what I mean. But maybe for for folks that weren't really aware. Mm -hmm. It might have looked like, all right, this guy is, he's, he's solidified. He got his, yeah. he got his own yeah. people coming in. You yeah, know yeah, yeah. Because not only was the impact on stage in numbers, but it was also in the crowd as well. Because mm -hmm. you, you, yeah. you made a difference there also, bro. Yeah. You know I think, I mean? too, that, yeah, um, I just think that, you know, people got to understand, like, this was a whole new world, though. You know what I'm saying? So when I came in a battle rap, like, it was like, you know, um, the, the people who were supporting me, I mean, they knew nothing about it. They they had no clue who who Murder Mook was or Tay Rock or nothing like that. Like there was right. their first their first introduction to, to battle rap was ETD. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They had me and then it was ETD and stuff like that. And so that that definitely has a so I understand that people probably felt like, oh, he probably already has like this this army behind him, but it really was at that beginning, yeah. But the, you know, the the longer you stay in the culture the more you start to lose people who aren't necessarily comfortable with the culture. And then two, you know, they start losing interest because their their initial interest is just you, not necessarily the culture and the storyline. So that's why when I'm, you know, when the when the leagues are coming along with the battlers and, and the fans and stuff in ETD, I'm just like, all right, cool, we'll, we'll, we'll move with me. You know what I'm saying? If I'm moving this way, move this way. So, but I think that, and then also too, I think what the, the whole faith and city thing, I think it, where I'm kind of getting it from too, is I remember the first time I met Trips was at an ETD event. I think it was an ETD event. I was not battling on. I think it was, if I remember correctly, it was the night Juju was battling, um, what's his name? King Mitty, I think. Mitty. You guys remember that? Yeah. I remember I'm outside. And now at this point I had already, I think I probably already got on bullpen and stuff like that. So I was already kind of like a little household name a little bit, but I uh, remember uh, Trips was outside, maybe for the first time, and he said, I was just standing there, and he was like, man, like, I don't want to sound like no groupie or nothing, but, bro, it feels like I'm like I'm standing next to somebody famous, right? And um, 
and, and so it kind of seemed like this like separation from the battler Loso and the city already. And I never wanted it to feel that way. Like there was like this like, you know, I'm 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 untouchable or something like that. I also think that because of my because of me being bold about my faith, it came across that way as well, where it was like, yeah, he's here, but it was almost like this isn't this isn't really what he's here for. You know what I'm saying? So maybe when I came mm-hmm. in, it almost seemed like I was just in here to kind of just do the Lord's work, right? And then I leave I, I leave out type of thing. Like I wasn't really trying to like get you know dig deep into the trenches of of Tampa battle rap and kind of you know and kind of make a mark for my city. It was almost like, yo, he wants to leave a mark for something you know something uh uh you know that that means more to him what it was my faith is like that and and rightfully so rightfully so maybe that is kind of what where i was at the time but but i always knew like where i was and 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 you know what i was repping the city and stuff like that obviously as i kept going it, it meant more and more the city meant more and at one time really it didn't hit me and i said i know you got i know you got to go deal but i was at the mall with my with my boy buck and he's been there since my since my uh my first battle but um i had just been it was probably one of the first times i had got stopped by a fan and i was in i was in west shore mall and a guy just came up was like loso i was like oh what's up he was like yo man saw such and such battle bro loving it's like that uh you mind if i take a picture boom took a picture he was like and before he leaves he says man keep putting on for the city and when he said that that was the first time that i heard it and my boy told me this is about i had just probably oh I, i think i just got on kotd and um and I'm, I'm my next battle is about to be money bags on blackout and my boy told me he said bro did you hear what he said and i said what you mean he's like yo he's here putting on he says bro i think you need to be a, more, a little more intentional and i just felt like i was and he was like what you mean he said bro um i think you should wear like a tampa jersey and so if you watch the money bags battle i'm wearing a, a lightning, lightning, jersey, lightning jersey a lightning jersey and it's because my boy made me go into the store that weekend he was like, go get some, whether I don't care if it's a break. And you know, I'm a, I'm a Vikings fan, but just or even though I lived in Tampa, but it's because my cousins were a Vikings fans. So I grew up with Vikings fans like that. But since then, though, I try to like, you know, I, I try to wear a raised hat, raised jersey, I uh, light, light it. But that was the first time because all, and it was just a guy just randomly, he just saw me as that. He was like, yo, keep putting on for the city. And I never, I never just put the two, two together. And so from that moment, I was very intentional with my clothes, with my speech, with my slogans, with everything at the end. Whenever I was introducing myself, Tampa, Florida, low so boom, you know what I'm saying? And so, but that was, I remember that day, my boy Buck, he made me go into the, uh, he made me go into the store and go get a lightning jersey, bro. Salute so, to Buck, man. Salute yeah, to Buck, yeah. man. When, <laughs> when, I to see Buck. You, when I see you, I see Tampa, bro. I don't see, I don't see, mm. I don't see Florida. I don't see the South. Mm. I see Tampa, bro. So yeah. you've done a great job doing that, bro. Like, super job, bro. Proud of you, mm. bro. Like, keep doing your thing, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Definitely, man. Salute. Definitely. A fan since day one, bro. I've been a fan since day one, bro. Facts. Definitely, definitely, man. Anything, 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 anything else to say? Bring, bring back William H, bro. Let's go ahead and go to I'm war. I'm trying. Bro. I'm trying, bro. I'm hey, trying. is that an official call out right there? That's an yeah, bro. Trying. Will, Will, the day I got off stage with problems, he comes up to me and he says, "You gotta die." That's that was his. That was exact. And he said it because he he was just like Fred, where he knew we gotta get we gotta get this kid out out early before he becomes a problem. <laughs> That's really what it was. It was, bro. I swear. Like I remember Will saying it, and I remember doing the interview uh, deal with you and Will at your crib yeah, or whatnot. Yeah, yeah. But I, and I reminded Will of that. He says he remembers. But I remember getting off stage, and Will was just like, "Cause him, if you watch me in problems, him, Fred and Will are standing standing next to each other behind, and they're going crazy off the lines. I'm saying, but but um, obviously Fred ends up taking me. Fred battles me, but Will was the first person to come up to. Me. He's like, "You gotta die. Like you you have to die now." Or it's he's gonna be a potential. problem. He's it's gonna be a potential. problem. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem later on. Like we gotta, we gotta get, we gotta, we gotta get, we gotta get rid of you now. And so he <laughs> said that, and 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 really, that was supposed to be. I was supposed to battle William H at Club Sky. That was supposed to be my first like um, battle in front of Smack. Smack was supposed to. I don't know if H had brought down Smack for an event or something like yeah. to host or something like that. But they were doing two battles, and one of the battles that they wanted to do was, I don't know who set it up. I don't know if it was you, I don't know if it was H, but somebody must've plugged me in or whatnot. And I remember they contacted me and said, yo, you and William H. 
and I was super nervous, but I, I was I was at home writing. You know what I'm saying? I wrote, I, ho- I had a whole, I had all the material for H. And I think, I think, it, I think the event got canceled or something happened. And that really, that really uh, bothered that, me. That, that, the, that helped you because H would have killed you that night, bro. H probably would have killed me. He would have killed Who knows? you that night, bro. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? I had just came off. I don't even know if I did the, I don't know if that was before Freddy's or after Freddy's. I think it was before Freddy's, but, um, but they had just, you know, they had offered me that and I was like, bet. And um and yeah, H just had you know, bro. He had more charisma. He had the he had the believability. He had everything, and he was a good rapper. And so like, yeah, he on that stage, if, if we was, wherever we was gonna battle in Club Sky in front of Smack, he would have been way more comfortable than me. <laughs> so, but uh, but yeah, shout out to H, bro. He always show love too. Appreciate that, man. Well, also, man, appreciate you coming out, taking time of your day, man, to sit yes, with sir. us and talk to us, man. We appreciate you, man. Mm-hmm. You are definitely Tampa, man. You rep Tampa, man. And it is what it is, man. I already know this interview is about to go ahead and do Cat Williams' number in the Facebook. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be clipping up because hey, so on. many, so many, it's so many toxic viral like things, and I'm just like, no, I wasn't. I'm not here for the smoke. I was just being honest in the interview. <laughs> and that's what it is. And just to verify, yeah. just to verify, we're gonna get, we'll, we'll get you and Deuce on ETD only, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, facts, facts. All right, y'all. Right. Mo, guaranteed. Yeah, I didn't, got that. All right. <laughs> I heard it. Salute to you. All right, man. I'm done, man. Good looking, man. Yeah, boys, have a good night, man.